Camera set. Action. Adonis has been fighting all his life. He's been doing that more than anything, more than crunching numbers, more than sitting in the office. He's been fighting his entire life. Mike's got a crazy work ethic, man. He's really committed and dedicated and got a lot of pride in his work. So I knew that he would do what was necessary to make it happen. He spent over a year preparing. So he was in extraordinary shape. Hey, Mark. It's all about you. This is exactly what you wanted. Now, I want you to go out there and get it. Are you ready to take it? Mm -hmm. Why don't you make it happen? Let's Can you do it? Let's do it. All right. Let's make it happen. dealt with my physical trainer, Corey Callier. You know, Corey, he's huge. We really clicked and had a bond. Apollo Creed was pretty ripped. Rocky was ripped. And that's crazy because a lot of people tweeted, like, you know, Apollo Creed look really good. It's going to take something to take Mike from looking how he did to looking better than Apollo Creed. That was a challenge, and I was happy about it because I looked forward to taking a body and making it into a sculpture. Changing the diet was the first thing. Cutting down the sugars, the breads, pasta, dairy, ah, dairy, cheese, gone. And drinking a lot of water. Try to get through a gallon and a half of water a day. I designed a balanced diet like a foundation. Once I start to see where his body go, I add more proteins, take carbs away, change his fats at this time, eat every two to three hours. The thing I was most concerned about was the boxing. Not how he looked physically, because with the right diet, with the right working out, you can look like anything. It is all about the footwork, what your feet do, your upper half will follow. And on every punch that you throw, your feet are involved. So if you submit it to the ground and you're not moving your feet, then you're just going to be arm punching. It doesn't have any power. I've done this a few times. I think he was in better shape than I was. He really had to work hard because these scenes were done over many, many, many days. And to maintain that kind of physique and energy and passion, you need a special quality. My training has been pretty intense. I think I boxed three or four days a week and weight train it every day for about eight months straight. And then eventually, you know, you start seeing the results and that motivates you to keep going and stick to the crazy routine and strict diet. We really want to find ways to make our film different than the other boxing films. We want to set ourselves apart. Wait, you're missing, boom, you're here, boom. Ryan and Clayton Barber, our fight choreographer, really put the time in to come up with these incredible sequences. Basically, my first priority is to assess Michael B. Jordan. I wasn't worried about his boxing training per se. I was worried more about how I was going to marry his boxing training into the story and the artistic side of what Ryan was trying to do. Mike picked a fighter who had a style for him to just go watch all of their tapes and kind of mimic their movements. We picked a fighter named Timothy Bradley, who fights out in Southern California, and that helped out a lot, too. We have four fights in this film. Everyone tells a different journey of what Adonis is going through. From the opening of the script to the end of the script. Starts one way, and then he ends another way, so we have somewhere to crescendo and grow. The kid's tough, I mean, seriously. And he also is a great athlete, for real. I mean, he's almost pro-quality basketball player, so he has great skills. I got some good genetics, too. Thanks, Mom, thanks, Dad. Appreciate it. Slide was there as a resource, nonstop. He's real passionate about the sport. And he made that clear to me. He was like, look, man, one thing you gotta get right is the boxing, you know what I'm saying? He was like, I'm gonna be on your ass to make sure that it's right, because if it's not right, we're doing the film a disservice. Light it up. Come on, Come on, man. Take a little shot. There were some scenes in there in the gym when he was cutting loose against a sparring partner. It's supposed to be in the scene, but they went at it. He was more than holding his own. He was in the ring with Gary Rosado. He was in the ring with Andre Ward. An inch away from getting his head knocked off. Bello is a knockout artist. <laughs> the way a fighter throws his weight around, 
He literally could cause you irreparable harm if he hits you. At the end of the day, we do keep a very safe zone. We can't pound our number one guy over and over and over because we wouldn't be able to make it to the whole movie. So we have to be very selective about how we do that. What we were trying to capture was what that feels like. Action! When you actually in the moment doing something, it's like, holy I can actually maybe do this. Definitely with the lights and the atmosphere and the gloves and the people in the crowd and you're going through the choreography, throwing punches and moving around in the ring, yeah, definitely feel like a real boxer.